Hello and welcome to this lesson on identifying what data to collect. Various types of data can be collected throughout a customer's journey in a business. However, it is quite important to identify what data should be collected for driving the goals of a business, which is why this lesson will be quite helpful to people who are just stepping into the world of customer analytics. Based on the information being collected, Customer data can be broadly categorized as descriptive, behavioral, interaction, and psychological. So the first kind of data that is descriptive data are based on demographics such as age, gender, geography, and income. The behavioral data are based on behaviors exhibited by the customers while browsing, making purchases, and registering on the platform. The interaction data are based on actions such as clicks, navigation paths, and browsing activities of the customer. And finally, the psychological data are based on preferences, personality, reviews, and interests of the customer. Now you should always keep in mind that data is meaningless unless it is collected for a reason. The key here is to not overcomplicate your analysis by attempting to use every bit of data available to you, but to frame one manageable use case at a time. Some of the common mistakes people make in collecting data for customer analytics include creating lengthy sign-up forms, making extended checkout processes, and trying to monitor every action of the customer for collecting as much data as possible. This directly hampers the customer experience badly and can even lead to a violation of customer trust and privacy. So it is important to understand how you can start collecting the right data for your business from the right sources. Each and every data point you collect should be directed towards measuring the factors that determine the customer value, such as the customer experience, loyalty and revenue. So if done properly, the data that you collect for analysis should help you in identifying problem areas, tracking improvements over time, and highlighting meaningful actions towards better customer experience and management. You can simply start your data collection journey by conducting an audit of internal data sources. As the name suggests, internal data sources can be found within the business, that is internally. These data sources help you identify the most valuable customers and how they interact with the business directly. Some of the examples of internal data sources are website analytics, transactions, and personal information from sign-up or KYC forms. Now it is important to note here that businesses should only move towards external data sources when they plan on acquiring more customers. Such sources are found outside of the business and can help in building marketing campaigns, conducting sales outreach programs, etc. Some of the examples of external data sources are social media, feedback and surveys, and data shops. The key to finding the right data sources is learning to ask the right questions and determining the purpose of the data for future analyses. Validating and ensuring the quality of the data sources is equally essential for effective results. So congratulations, you've made it to the end of this lesson. We will now finally discuss about how customer analytics can be done using the collected data in our next lesson. We will then move on to performing a hands-on lesson on customer analytics using a transactional data set. So I'll see you in the next lesson.